Imagine stepping inside a property where time just stands still. All the while, cars drive and life happens just outside. Situated in the middle of the mountainous forest of the United States, lays a home just like that. The family's car sitting in the driveway, which has not been moved in years, and stuffed animal collections still organized for hours more of enjoyment. Did the owners mysteriously leave one day, or does this home have a more sinister story behind it? As of 2021, nobody has seen the owners, let alone anyone on the property. But with power still left on, and valuables still hidden in the drawers and in secret crevices, it's anyone's guess what the current status of this home is. With minimal decay, no foul smells inside, and beds perfectly made, I was truly wondering if this property was as uninhabited as I first thought. Come along as we venture inside and uncover the secrets of this secluded mound home. Alright guys, here we are at this abandoned house we just found and the first thing I saw on the road is this car and I was like, oh my, we have to stop for sure. But as we look around, it does look like a pretty, pretty big house too. Not sure what's going on with the doors over there. And there are two kind of uh, other homes right there too, so we have to definitely check those out as well. But just because the cars left right here, I could already tell this is going to be a good property. A nice old Mercedes probably a twin turbo too yeah wow she's a beauty for sure let's see if we can get inside that's always good if we can oh the door is open and yeah we can actually look inside it smells not abandoned at all not moldy or anything so that's kind of kind of strange for sure but wow pretty nice car though Definitely, no doubt about it. Let's close it up though. Yeah, 300 SD. And I was right, it is a turbo diesel. Oh no, I said twin turbo, it's a turbo diesel. Oh well. But either way though, this is the house right here. I don't know if it's gonna be open. I know those are the trailer homes. I know those are open because I checked those out before. But this property, this one right here, I don't know. Because all of the windows on the first floor have bars around it. And then this door is also locked. I managed to climb up there, but unfortunately could not find a way in. It does seem pretty big and it even has a lookout tower up there too. But if we do take a quick peek inside, we can see that there is a lot of furniture just messed up. It kind of does look like they were doing work to the property right here. And uh, I don't know if it, if it stopped or something, but I don't think this was lived in in a, quite, a, quite a long time. So unfortunately, after taking a quick look around the house, it is locked, which I am uh, disappointed about. But at the same time, I don't think it's that good inside either. So now I think we definitely have to check out that brown home right there and then the trailer home, see what's up with that. Seems to be completely frozen in time. There's even flowers on the window and even camera too, so I'm gonna avoid that. But all the chairs and there's a bunch of uh, different dining equipment too, grills, everything like that, just chilling there. Wow. We definitely have to get inside this house. No doubt about it, it does look really good. I'm sure there's a lot of potential to it. All right guys, so we just walked in this house and just from the first quick glimpse of it, it does look like a complete time capsule. Everything, and I mean everything, is left behind here. Nothing was taken. It's a very, very strange house and very strange property too. And I am quite nervous being here, not gonna lie. The house doesn't even smell abandoned at all. It smells like a regular person lives here. But as you can see, just panning around in the living room, it's completely frozen in time. So it looks like they did have a wood-burning stove right here. That's what my uncle has to keep warm. And, uh... 
Here's the, the wood they would use to keep it inside so it doesn't get wet. He has a few clothes and blankets, sheets, other things like that scattered around. Beautiful painting right there as well. And over here in the kitchen, all of the cutlery and everything is still in its place. The kitchen does seem to be a little bit messy, but that's all right, because it's not really bad. This isn't trash. It's probably, this is probably the family that moved to here. Never seen that label right there. And theoretically, you just open that right there, throw the wood in, and then keep warm. Yeah. It seems like they might have had kids too. Some Pokemon things. And then this little aquarium right here as well. Wow. Let's check one of the drawers. I'm sure there is going to be stuff inside, but I just want to make sure. Yeah, look at that. It even has labels for the sugar and tea right there too. Let's close it back up, of course. And this right here, they would keep their paper towels and they just roll it off if you needed to use it. So this is the living room area right here and through that hallway, it's gonna be all the bedrooms and living spaces that this family had. But moving on to the living room, beautiful box TV right here and some trinkets and decorations above it as well. They definitely did like animals. And this place is in the woods. It's in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So, yeah. It seems like they were Jewish too. I have seen some uh, Jewish things uh, laid around. Even in the car outside that we checked out first, there was the, the Jewish emblem. Very nice. Yeah, it's just crazy to me. I don't know why they left or anything like that but they just put all of their pillows and all of their sheets just laid on top of this couch. It's really weird. I don't know where these people went. And moving over here to the back of the couch, we see a nice old fake plant. A lot of things people always comment on the videos is that there's plants so it's not abandoned, but most of the time they are just fake. Very beautiful clock as well. Here's another view of the kitchen. And a beautiful area right here to keep Tupperware and plates and beautiful china that they owned. Wow. This is for sure a pretty big house, but it is very cozy as well. But here we go, as we do enter the living spaces of this property, it does look like there was a divider right here, a cloth divider. So you can pull that closed. It seems like a narrow hallway, it's not too big. And on the right side, tons and tons of books on the bookshelf. And I love how none of it's trashed either. This place has obviously been untouched and unfound by anyone since it was abandoned. And the first room we're seeing is also completely frozen in time. I love places like this for sure. Perfect bedroom. It is very small, but I'm not sure what's going on. Let's go over here. Let's move along over here. Take a look at all this jewelry. Giant bowl filled with it. Wow. Beautiful old clock too. And this is their storage area. They did not have a closet in this room. And so I'm sure they would keep all of their stuff in these boxes or uh, around those cabinets right there too. 
They definitely were very smart people though. They enjoyed to read a lot. And I'm sure they did have kids as well. Just judging by the, uh, the things we saw in the living room and then these as well. Wow. Tons and tons of books though. It's really amazing for sure. This looks like it could have been locked, but it's open now. My apologies if it is dark. There we go though, look at that. It does look just like a bit of food and some cloths, nothing worth really hiding. So let's close it back up. Yeah. But as we continue along, it looks like we have a few more bedrooms to take a look at. And right here on the right is a bowl just filled with glasses. That has to be at least 50 glasses right there. And these picture frames, and these all have the same picture in them. Or no, they're, they're different, but they look pretty much the same. You would assume they would have family photos or, you know, photos of themselves in these frames, but no, just keep flowers. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this house is really just absolutely stunning. I don't know if this will be, I feel like this will be a living room because I don't think anyone would sleep on that couch regularly. But this was definitely the playroom for the kid. And it seems like they, the parents did treat the kid very well. The amount of stuffed animals is just completely organized and this room is insane. And of course she did have a collection of books up here as well. They had books in every single room of this house. And on the cabinet behind, even more books, of course. I honestly can't really tell how old she was. Probably pretty young, but then she did have some advanced books here, so. I don't know. Very, very cool trinkets and little decorations though, for sure. That's always the cool thing about these places, just looking at the little things and appreciating them. Very nice painting. And it does look like this room had a closet as well, or a storage area, so let's take a look. It might be a bathroom. No, just a storage area to keep her clothes in probably. But there's no clothes, just a few fans and other belongings like that. They probably put all their clothes in the living room or the kitchen where we started from. But as we walk out of that room, of course we're passing by these picture frames again. And uh, this right here looks like a side door to the property and there is an old coat just hanging right by it. Wow. And this might be the second kitchen. I'm not exactly sure, because I think they were Jewish. Oh no, this was the laundry machine, never mind. Because a common thing with a lot of Jewish homes is that they have second kitchens. And so I thought this was it, but I guess not. The thing about this house, it is very filled with stuff. There's so much stuff inside, but it is very organized at the same time. Like there's nothing blocking the walkways or anything like that. So I don't think it is a horror house at all. Oh my goodness. Yeah. This is absolutely gorgeous though. This is for sure the master bedroom of this house. And it's nothing too big, but it just looks very cozy and very well organized too. I'm sure they love their kid very much. Tons of stuffed animals even here too. And of course, they love to read. Their closets in this one completely filled with clothes as well. Jeez. Yeah, there's even more here too. And on the other side by the dresser, of course, even more books. That amount of books this family had was insane. This is some flower tips right here in this little uh, little basket and a wood decoration. But I do want to take a look at some of the drawers and see what's up with that. All right, just some clothes, some cloths, nothing too, nothing too crazy. And I fully expect to find even like money or passports or, you know, crazy things like that too. Because this house does everything, everything left behind. 
So right here next to the master bedroom is the bathroom. And this seems to be the only bathroom in this house. This is familiar for sure though, this sticky tape to, to kill flies and bugs. But there are a few candles, a lot of candles and a lot of scent stuff for above the toilet. And then in the shower, a few things, few bags of clothes in the shower, but there is still soap right there. It's still left there. Huh. A few more air fresheners. I don't know what these stuff are. Very strange, but sorry. Bags of tissues as well, too. Tons of umbrellas, too, right next to the sink. Let's see if the water works. I highly doubt it, but there's a chance it does. And I want to try it out. No, it doesn't. We are in a very cold area, too. So I'm sure even if it did, the pipes may have been frozen or they definitely took it off. They winterized it for sure. Yeah, but guys, that seems like the whole house. Definitely beautiful. This house and its owners are truly a mystery to myself and the internet. And therefore, it will continue to rot for years to come.